Viewer discretion is advised. Shoot these bumps. I really need to shower. Nah, not enough time. Act shower's gonna have to do. I'm out. how you're holding up but that's always the dumbest question I just don't 
I was with him a week ago. I won't get to sit and listen to his stories. I won't get to help him do yard work. It's like this whole chunk of my life. It's just gone. Vanished in a night. And I wasn't even there to say goodbye. Jesse. Two wars. I... Two wars. And you worked in the CIA for 30 years. And he dies by a heart attack? What if I told you? I don't think Grandpa died from any natural causes. Jen, are we even allowed to be in here? I got the keys from Mom and Dad. That's not what I'm talking about. What if it was the CIA? I think Grandpa was like a real spy. I think he was. I think he stumbled onto something he shouldn't have. I bet he has guns, like hidden in the walls. Do you know what this is? It's a go bag. Spies use it when they need to flee the country. Just don't know why I didn't use it. Maybe. Because there's only one passport, which is his, a normal bottle of Tylenol PM, and six dollars and change. I think you were right about Grandpa being murdered. I don't think he was very good at his job. How did I get down here? You're acting aggressive because it's been years since you've been with a woman. Who are you? I am a doctor, a writer, a nuclear physicist, a theoretical philosopher, but above all I am a man have certain needs. You inspire something in him. He's been going at it all night. Do you feel alone? Do your past failures bother you? Do you believe God will save you? Is your behavior erect? If we cannot cure him, then it is we who fail him. Maybe he's past help. What happened? Everyone's gone. What do you mean? You can take that off. It's safe in here. You hear about that nuclear power plant about a month ago? Up Wenatchee? 
Well, after the fire started, it caught on. It burned down. With all the toxins released and the smoke inhalation, everyone eats from there. Everyone. All gone. How do we survive? I don't know. But I didn't know I want to get a drink. You in? No arguments there. Come on, arm yourself. What is that? Bandits. Have you located the target? You're clear to engage. Don't you have a husband you should be getting back to? Alright. Fine. Gotta go to the grocery store. I'll be back in a minute. Can you tell me what's going on? A whole lot of nothing, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll see you when you get... Connie? Connie? Target neutralized. Received. Good work, Agent Richards.
What? After all these years, they're gonna make me close my loop. Well, you, oh, loop. Well, yeah, man, you shouldn't kill me. Because, like, you and I, we're like the same person and all. What happened to you? You look awful. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I had the nicest trailer in the entire park. Great hunting dog, and my truck only had 12 payments left on it. I had laughed pretty good. I should put you out of your misery. Oh, damn, man, come on, come on! But then I'd have to live your shitty life. Man, that was a silly thing to do. Going around shooting yourself. What hell are you thinking? What do we do now? Well, there's a refugee camp somewhere near Yakima. Great. It's, it's only a half hour away. Let's, let's do it. It's not that easy. There's bandits everywhere. Chances are they're worse over there. It is Yakima. That's true, but we're packing heat. Yes, we are packing heat. But so are they. And they'll mug us. For our resources or not. Hell, they'll kill you for that, or they'll just kill you for fun. I don't think we should do it. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Well, yeah, we can. We can drink ourselves to death. That's how we survived. What? We drank so much last night, got alcohol poisoning, when the toxins emitted to the air, they didn't affect us. We died. We died briefly, and in that moment of death, you can't die again. Huh. We've been condemned to this hell. Oh, Step out. Hi everybody, and welcome to Videos on the Damned. <laughs> I'm your host, Tom Curran, and we're going to be talking about some movies that you find on the internet. I know that sounds broad, but when I say movies on the internet, I mean the majority of them, the weird ones. And you probably already know what I'm talking about. So. You're on your Netflix page, and you're in the mood for some sci-fi or horror flick. You get to the front page, and then you've seen all these before. Hellraiser and so on. So you start to look at the other options, and then the further down you get on the list, the weirder your choices seem. I actually want to go and look at these B to F list movies and give them the attention they probably don't deserve. Well, I really had my work cut out for me. I mean, pretty much this is 90% of what makes up websites like Netflix and Crackle. I actually did go on to Crackle and I found a film that uh, caught my attention mostly because of its star, Lucy Liu. And that film is Rise. Blood Hunter! Lucy Liu plays Sadie Blake, a plucky L.A. reporter who hears word around the campfire that there's a vampire cult in town. So she goes into this house after a hot... Oh my goodness! There's blood on the walls. Lucy Liu, get out of there! I think she's gonna make it... Oh no! It's Mako! Mako, don't take her back to your vampire masters. Oh no, he did it. And I guess they rape and murder her. Not in that order. But anyways, as a consolation prize, she does become a vampire, and after some um, crossbow lessons, yeah, there we are, she learns how to fight and becomes a badass. The end. So what kind of film is Rise? Well, Rise tries to go for that more lucrative, 
market within the vampire subgenres. That is, the vampire hunter genre. And why does it make money? Because it is money! Look at the intense action! Everybody knows what to expect when they come to see a vampire hunting film. Look at Charleston Heston go! Now, he didn't know he was getting filmed in this one, but that's what I mean. It's awesome. And that's the reason why Rise Blood Hunter did not work out so well. Because it was pretty boring. And when I say pretty boring, it was actually more of an art film and also a noir. I mean, look at this. You have the drunk cop. You have uh, the bar investigation scenes with the bribery. And then, of course, the interviews. It was a lot less about the action. So here's a statistic for you. Can you guess how many vampires Sadie actually kills? Well, I'll uh, give you a hint. You can count them all on one hand. This film was released back in 2007, just a few years after the first installment of Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight series. So I do believe that the filmmakers were influenced by that, trying to make a neo-noir action film. However, where these filmmakers had failed was they were not able to blend the genres as seamlessly as Nolan and... Wait a second. Is that vampire suffocating? Vampires are dead! They can't suffocate! They don't even know how vampires work! It really is sad, though, because I think they did have potential with the idea of making more of a intellectual, artistic, psychological look in the mind of a vampire hunter. I mean, we've had so many other vampire hunting films, this genre was starting to get a little stale, so... It could have worked if they took a more thoughtful approach instead of trying to making it more like Blade or making it more like Batman Begins. Oh well. They are making Rise 2, and it does actually seem to be having a cult following. Now take a look at this. Check out the DVD here. There are people who actually like this. Now of course, uh, the majority of people have the good sense to give it one or two stars, but Take a look at some of these five-star reviews. I mean, check out the enthusiasm. This is, <laughs> it's baffling because, like I said, the movie's a bore. But I guess, you know, people in the vampire cult love it. <laughs> Maybe the vampire cult is the thing that actually starred the film. Like, I mean, Scientology was behind Battlefield Earth. Maybe, maybe a vampire cult really was behind this film. What's that noise? Oh my god! Oh my! Help! Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh, please stop! Oh, please! Oh god! Oh! oh. oh. See you next time! I heard it's going to change technology forever! Everything is different. I know, I heard it's going to be 20% smaller. Can you believe that? It's already so small. Oh. I hear they completely redesigned the screen. It's gonna be brighter and longer and way more resolution. Oh man, it's the biggest thing to happen this year. Nothing's gonna compare to this. So oh excited. my god. Oh my god, they're opening. It's what? time! Go! Oh go! She was going to pick Katie up. I don't know. That's not my job. She's gonna. Oh, oh crap.
last night. It was crazy. Oh. 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 oh, what the hell? The iPhone 5, the biggest little thing to happen to iPhone since iPhone.